morning weigh in. Today is gonna be eighty one point five plus the camera, so it's probably a little over eighty one. Bam! So continuing the prep for King of the Table as part of this whole journey to uh, King of the Table International Series. I've joined um, Team Personal Records uh, affiliate program. I'm going to leave the link in the description, but if you want to help me out financially, um, you know, there's a, an affiliate link there where you can buy stuff and then I get a portion of it. Um, also helps out Larry Wheels and his team with Adam and for what, what they've done for the non wrestling community uh, so far. Uh, but yeah. On to the exercise. First exercise I'll be doing is actually just straight wrist flexion and just to show that the weight um, is 20 kilos or about 45 pounds. Um, this is a single pulley system, so it's uh, roughly one to one. Don't really need a lot of weight to train um, muscles that are small, something like your wrist. Um, 20 kilos or 45 pounds is actually quite a lot. And, um, yeah, let's just get to it. Just straight wrist flexion from roughly the starting position of how you normally start in an actual match. Yeah! So, next one is also a exercise. Um, that was from Sergei Kalanichenko's video with Chance Shop. Um, basically, it's uh, sort of a wrist curl combined with supination. Um, very similar to what you feel when using a multi-spinner, but um, just done in a different way. So for this, I'm just using a dumbbell handle and my belt. So it'll be a curl from here, and then the force comes from the bottom two fingers. The next step is just a standard wrist curl with a barbell. Um, I only have an easy curl barbell, so that's what I'm working with. Next up we have the standard supination with a belt from a high attachment. So this is just basically training this movement. Um, sometimes if you want to get a hook. And um, I always like to finish off um, all of my wrist and supination sessions with just a little bit of side pressure because you know that kind of goes hand in hand. And at the end of the day, you still need side pressure to finish the match. So, I want to talk a little bit about the um, tournament itself, um, specifically the competitors that are going to be there. As I mentioned before, I'm taking part in the under 85 kilo category. I do know for a fact that Artem Taranenko or Artem Toprol is going to be there. Um, he typically weighs around uh, above 90 kilos, so he's, he's cutting down pretty heavily for this. Um, I know that Sam Burnett is going to be there, um, so these are two <laughs> pretty tough opponents, I would say so. But other than those two, I don't really know who else is going that are uh, notable. I do know that um, most of the WAF people won't be there because the event is really, really close to WAF Worlds. They're happening in, I don't know, a week or two um, over in Turkey. So probably a lot of the super, super top competitors won't be there. Um, but that's not to say that this tournament is not going to be hard because, um, especially for me, um, who competes typically at the 78 kilo category, going up uh, 7 kilos from my normal weight is, um, is pretty, pretty hard. But just doing the best I can and just hopefully get lucky in the draws. 
but this is going to be the first time that I don't have to actually cut for a weight class, so that's going to be good. Um, and we'll see how that affects my performance because for all of the tournaments before this, I've always had to cut weight because um, I weigh, you know, around 80 kilos normally, walking around, just eating normally. So um, this is the first time that I don't have to worry about cutting weight. And uh, I think mentally at least, that's going to be a very huge boost for me. And uh, physically, I'm sure that just having that little bit of extra energy is probably going to help as well. Um, but we will see how much that actually plays a part. But yeah, that's all for today. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya!